Michael Palin deltager han blandt andet i kastanjemesterskaberne, men han bliver diskvalificeret, da han mistænkes for snyderi. I'm staying in the village of Chale. It has a church, a pub, and an autumn show, to which I discovered my landlady, Wendy Hardy, trundling her entry for the Best Dressed Pumpkin Award. Well, there's a pumpkin under there. Yeah, that's right. That's a, ser- a serious category. Definitely. What on earth is all that? How long did it take you to do all this? About a morning. Yeah, just a morning, just a morning. That's right. Nimble-fingered. Well, good luck. Looks like a winner to me, I mean... Hope so. Yeah, see you later. Bye. Wendy also has an entry in the ugliest pumpkin category, but she was too modest to tell me about this. It's Sunday, and on Sundays, my employer, Peter Hurst, is to be found perfecting his swing. So how was the holiday, Very Peter? pleasant, Michael. Yeah, it's very nice indeed. What do you do all day, then? Well, we played a lot of golf. Played golf most days in Cornwall, and uh, was ate it... a lot and drank a little bit and uh, slept it... a lot. Ah, good. So you're revived, ready for the, the year ahead. Back at the clubhouse, we get down to discussing what will sadly be my farewell column. And then I thought I might possibly enter the... uh, I'm not sure if they're the world championships or or, or local championships, but the conquer championships that are being held at Black Gang. Uh, Someone suggested I should perhaps, you know, show my... (laughs) My skills there, so I hear there's yes, something yes. happening in you, Black you've, Gang. That's right, yes, yes. You've had a bit of practice at that, have you? Are you a bit of no. a conquer, no, I'm very, conquer uh, king, are you? Very rusty, no? very rusty at that. No, I'm, I'm sort of not even where, where are you going to get your conquers from? Um, well, I shall, I, shall, I shall scour the, uh, the land for the best, you know, simply the best, because uh, I want to be the best, you know, Peter. Oh, Wendy. Hello, Hi. Michael. Here they are, then. Oh, the conkers. Yeah. If you just put them there, I'll... OK. Microwave them All in right. a minute. First yes, all, I, I mean, can I use these conkers? Oh. Uh, well, we do have fresh conkers available, but what we'll do is we'll sort that out for you and then we, we can go from there. I do particularly want to use these because they're from uh, Ealing Common in London um, and they were, they've actually been, um, they've been brought here from, you know, from London particularly because they're on, they fell from under a tree in which I, you know, I walk past a lot and I'm, I'm you know, I think it's brought me good luck in the past. Right. Well, let me, on the pre- let me get in, the other in, player. In Hong Kong. Right. Right. Uh, I'd like to play with these, if that's all right. Well, we'll ask the other player, okay. see how he feels. We right. will, in the end, be yes. left to our steward to make that All right. Uh, there will be a controversy here. Hello, how do you do? How do you do? How do, you do? Uh, I'll, yes, I'll leave great. you read. Yes, okay. See how you're right. Right. You're sort of ready to uh, play the game? Well, yes, okay. I'll flip the coin. Right. And if you'd like to... Now then. Heads or tails? Uh, tails, please. It is tails. Would it you like tails. to strike first? I'll strike first. Juniors, Lewis Wright, last call or you're going out of the competition. Don't worry. Oh, Michael, you're going to have to play the game now. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
that next morning I was at the local shop buying pumpkin seeds when I caught sight of my picture on page three of The Sun, beside a story alleging I'd cheated when preparing my conquer for the fight. I think I might give up. I might do have to do a Frank Bruno on this, you know, and <laughs> retire. Oh! Jackie Silvestri is here. Oh, sorry, I, I, I don't think... I think this has been doctored, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's I'm afraid it's, afraid it's got to be a disqualification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry about that. Well, actually, Very it's not sorry. true. I'm the one who's been doctored. This is actually a real conga. <laughs> I, I've been pickled for five days now. <laughs> All I can say is I thought you had to have something bigger than conkers to appear on page three of The Sun. I inherited this, I have to say. I inherited no. this from a... Someone who died playing conkers, so, you know... Oh, really? Like, yes. Oh, really? Yes. I can throw it away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Anyway, that was a bit of a shattering blow. I'm sorry about that. I always somehow thought preparing the conker was all part of the game. Is that so I true? Th I, think it probably, I think it probably still is, actually. Oh, wow. Well. I think it's when it comes to competitions that people yes. are terribly serious. Well, right? I mean, I would have been out anyway. We're just coming through the, the water gardens part yeah. of the park. Um, My worries are nothing compared with those of the championship organiser, Simon oh, DeBell. He ought to be suicidal. Every day, a bit more of his theme park drops off into the sea. This looks pretty serious here. How, how, how old is that? Well, these cracks, I would think, are two to three weeks old now. Really? They're, they are actually opening all the time, although you wouldn't be able to see it at this point. How much land is lost in a, in a year? Well, we, we, on average, have been losing over the last 50 years about 8 to 10 feet a year. Um, it, so it, that's uh, from it, where you are to the end and a little bit more? Yes, So at the end yes. of the year, you'd be gone? I, I wouldn't be here. I'd be yeah. standing in thin air. Yeah. I'd have gone slightly ahead of you, Mike. Yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> this is obviously happening here and now. I mean, there's a wall yes. literally hanging off the edge of the cliff there. Yes, that's... Uh, what I suppose moved some some way in the last two weeks. Yeah. In fact, ju just now before um, you were talking to me, I was just standing here and I could see bits slurrying off and you can actually see streams further down running and it's just piling up all the time. But, I mean, this is beautifully manicured lawn here. Yes, we do and have... lovely little the... path walks up there and at the end of that path, 300-foot right. drop. Yes, yes. I'm feeling distinctly nervous. <laughs> Shall we go? Yes, <laughs> Let's <a> good go. <laughs> I leave Black Gang rather depressed. The island is disappearing, I've been disqualified, and the news isn't much better at Yew Tree Cottage. They disqualified you? No, I actually got third prize, but it didn't quite keep within the rules. The pumpkin that won was dressed as a clown. <laughs> a novelty object, surely. Pumpkin dressed as a clown. Well, she said the clothes were made especially for the, the pumpkin. And my clothes could have fitted anything. <laughs> Didn't look like that to me. I mean, they were tailor-made. Well, there we are. The judge's decision is final. How do you react? Are you a bit indignant? Not at all. It's a bit of fun. Shale seems a bit of a windswept corner of the island, and from what I hear, it's disappearing, is that right? We have got our erosion problems, yes. They say that the military road that runs up the southwest of the island is very uh, close to the sea at some points, and this might have to close. Well, some damn wild carrot got in their way from moving the road to somewhere else, is what we've been told. I haven't seen it myself, but maybe you could go and look for it. I will, but, I mean, you're talking about that's the single objection to moving the road. I rather think so, yes. It's nothing to do with the fact that there's a huge sort of hill in the way. No, I think it's just the carrot. Who's for the carrot and who's against it? Well, I think it's the conservationists that would like to keep the carrot. It's very rare. What does it look like? How would I find I it? I don't know. Look for a carrot top sticking out the grass, I would think. Do you believe that? Or do you think they made it up? I really don't know. I mean, and the people who want the road moved, what? I mean, the, what's their view? Dig the carrot up and take it somewhere else. But the conservationists say it won't grow anywhere else. 
And as it's so rare, they feel that they should keep it. Oh. Precariously perched on the eroded cliff, a surge of excitement coursed through your correspondent, for close to where he stood was a unique and sensational vegetable. I heard you were defeated by a wild carrot. A wild carrot? Well, no, my landlady, no <laughs> names, no petrol, my landlady said, said that carrot. it's all about saving a wild carrot. Now, is she no, no, off she, her rocker or is there no, some substance actually, I think she, she could be right because um, <laughs> the plants that were growing on the piece yeah. that was going to be widened, yeah. um, I think it could well have been for the carrot family. Yeah. And uh, it apparently grows only there. And so it said, oh, no, you know, we cannot move the, the road back into the day. And I think she's probably right. On these cliffs, then, the wild carrot won its greatest, indeed, its only victory. Did you know the entire population of the world can fit on the Isle of Wight? This is what I was told, but what with the world population growing and the Isle of Wight shrinking, I wondered if this could possibly still be true. I decided to carry out an experiment with the help of All Saints Primary School, Freshwater. And that is the Isle of Wight ever so tiny, like a little tiny grain of sand, and the rest of the world is enormous. And there you are, you can see the population of the world up there. Can all those people stand on the Isle of Wight? No. no. That's what I'd have said. So what I want to do is take, is take a few people who represent the rest of the world and take a little area that we're going to mark out, which will represent a percentage of the world, and if we have got our sums right, if we've done it right, then it should prove that the whole population of the world can fit onto the Isle of Wight. May not work, but it may work. And I want you to be my helpers. Will you come along and be the rest of the world for me tomorrow? Yeah! yeah? Very good. Very good indeed. Anyone not want to come? If the children can squeeze into the square, the world can squeeze into the Isle of Wight. First, Mrs. Burrell's class. Quick as you can, that's it. Mr. Simmons' class. Now get in, tight as you can, tight as you can. Mr. Densham's class. Tight as you can, put your arms in the air, make some more room. Arms in the air to make the room, keep off the line. Mrs. Bolter's class. Oops. Excellent. So Palin's column is able to reveal exclusively that the world's population can still be shoehorned onto the Isle of Wight. Just. Carysbrook Castle was a royal prison. Charles I languished here before becoming the first and only English king to be executed. Within sight of Carysbrook is another prison. From a distance, Parkhurst resembles one of those Victorian engravings of a model factory, with its geometric layout of long red brick blocks, tall chimneys, and precisely arranged walls. my bike at the main entrance and wonder if I should lock it. I decide this must be one of the safest places on the island. So what, what sort of prisoners are we going to um, be seeing here? John Marriott, the governor, lays great emphasis on the leading of useful lives. He's open, candid and proud of his prison after a day amongst those he describes as the most difficult, dangerous and disturbed prisoners in custody today, I felt I'd learnt a lot. 
I mean, I've got a personal philosophy, if you like, about the fact that I do think that prisoners should be dealt with with dignity, with respect. I don't think there's a lot of evidence around which suggests that um, if you were really diabolical mm. or beastly to people, they become better adjusted and mm, understand mm. their motivation. Mm. So I suppose from my point of view... Mm. I don't know. Time will tell what, what the difference in terms of emphasis that there will be. Um, but it certainly isn't my intention mm. to dramatically change the sort of approach that we have here. Um, why, why are there no sort of uh, plants and it's one gardens of the like there are well, out there? Absolutely. It's one of the things Considering the volatility and high criminal profile of its inmates, I had the impression that Parkhurst was working well. I heard complaints and I saw conditions badly in need of improvement. But I also heard from several prisoners that Parkhurst was the least worst of all the institutions they'd experienced. Others were less grudging in their praise. One man told me, it's unique in the penal system. They treat you like a human being in Parkhurst. Not very interesting for people to look at. I like it. I like it. There's ups and downs, but, you know, it happens on everybody in prison, you know. Mm. Uh, the staff here leave you alone. You know, mm. they don't hassle nobody, you know, mm. unless you hassle them, mm. and they'll tell you straight back. Mm. That's how it should be. What's you know? the worst thing of all? What's the um, for me, for, for me personally, you know, that's my daughter. I mean, I came away mm. when she was just under one years old, and I ain't seen her since. I mean, I ain't going to see her until she's 17, 18, and make her own decision. Because, I mean, I was, I was serving three and a half years at first um, for a robbery. Two months later, I killed the prison instructor. Yeah. I'm going to be inside a long time, mm. a long time, yeah. You know, because I class him as a prison officer, and that carries a minimum of mm. 20 years. So, I mean, yeah. you know, the obvious question, sorry, to an no, outsider no. is, did, did you not think of that when you, um, before be, you I'll be killed someone? I'll be did you not think? I, I did. Yeah, he said certain things that I couldn't let go. Now, all right, I should have maybe punched him one, and that'd have been all over. But I was so annoyed that mm. I just said he's got to go, mm. you know, and that's what happened. So, you presumably, you still got that sort of anger down. Oh, yeah, there. That's, yeah, that is still there, you know, but since I've been here, they're, they're good people about it. And they, like the psychologist, mm. she's, she's on now, and Bob mm. Mitchell. Yeah. Um, they're good, you know, they're good people, you know, and you mm. can talk about anything. An inmate told me that I'd become a Christian. He was a born-again Christian. I, I laughed at him, you know. And um, about a month later, I was thinking about the change in his life and uh, how terrible my own life was and the terrible things I'd done. And uh, one night, I, I just thought to myself, well, I, I want what you've got. Do you think you'll ever get out of here and carry on this work outside? I don't know. That's I'm doing a life sentence. And uh, I'm happy to be wherever ever God wants me to be. If I can serve him, I'm serving people that Do you believe that prison can, can change someone? Somebody can be go out a reformed man? Or do you believe, like others do, that, that prisons are just universities of crime? That's rubbish, that is. Mm. I mean, I'm in for an armed robbery. Um, so, I mean, no one can teach me how to put a mask on put a gun in my hand and go into a bank. I mean, you, you, you don't... You, you read that in books, mm. you know, you see it on television. Mm. You don't need to come to jail to learn that. Mm. Um, it's, it's just... It's, it's... So do you think the other side is that you can be taught to write or to do something which is... Uh, well, uh, I know several inmates that, that... I know several inmates that were illiterate when they came in. They're no more, you know. They're, uh, they're, they're as, as educated as I am. I mean, I, I can read and write. I think that we actually have to try and get prisoners to have more responsibility rather than less. I mean, yeah. If people come into prison yeah. and you tell them when to get up, when to eat, when to go to work, when to go on exercise, when to do this, yeah. when to do that, and then at the end of their prison sentence you kick them out the door at the other end, yeah. then clearly it's unlikely that you would have yeah. affected them in yeah. any way at all. There's a lot of fun in prisons as well as quite a lot of serious business. I mean, people are able to laugh and joke, and, mm. um, and that's very important. It's the sort of cement that keeps things together. Staff mm. can laugh and joke with yeah. prisoners, and yeah. they take the mickey out of us. I mean, we've got endless rules, some of which go back into antiquity.
What do you think about Parker? Well, as an institution. As an institution. I'm glad I got caught. Are you really? Yeah, I'm glad I got caught. <laughs> three square meals a day. <laughs> three square meals a day. Quite three a general plan. All free. Everything's free. Yeah. Free food, everything. I've heard. I've heard. Yeah. What's the we've, got a, we've got a great governor. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel at all? Do you feel at all inhibited by having him here while you're no, on the no, no, We'll pay for it tomorrow, right. though. Oh, will you? We'll pay for it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. more bread and water, I suppose. And if we say he's all right. Nasty, we get a ten-pound fine, don't we? Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Is he a yeah. tough, no, tough man? Strict disciplinarian? He's, he's, right. he's, he's tough but fair. fair. <laughs> tough but fair. He yes. drink. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. He took ten pounds over one the other night for wages overtime. A sense of humour is essential. Perhaps that's why I felt almost at home there. It's a dark, bleak, uncompromising humour, but essential for survival. And how much of the, how long would they be allowed out there? An hour. An hour? Yes. In a day? Mm. That's something that anybody in prison, if they're not working at least, gets an hour's exercise. Mm. One of our guns deserve this. OK, this is a cell which is not a punishment cell as such, but if we've got a prisoner who's been very violent, fighting staff, smashing up in some of the other cells. We would put him in here for a cooling off period. Mm -hmm. um, you'll notice that the doors are actually wider than any of the other cells. That's so that we can actually have wrist locks on people to bring them into this cell. Mm -hmm. And are they stripped? Someone said these are called strip cells. So they're, yeah, they're they would be taken really... and they're given canvas clothing to wear. Is that what they'd wear? Yeah, what, I mean, these, are, like? these are the sorts of clothes that yeah. prisoners have. Put so you take their own, clothes. all their own clothes off and put yeah. them into these. And they're which... always searched properly, a strip search, mm. before the door is closed, mm. in case they've got any weapons. So they just rage yeah. in here and get yeah. it all out of the system. Yes. I mean, I can think of one or two household names around the prison system who quite often say, come on, I want to get out, bring me down here for a while. Would you like to have a look and spend a bit of time in one? I know it's a bit artificial, but I oh, can no. bang you up for a few minutes. Would you like to do that? OK. Yeah, why not? I never liked your programmes anyway. <laughs> well, the governor was as good as his word and now been banged up. And... Uh, I'm in here alone with just a television camera, nobody else. It's almost inconceivable that a room like this should be somebody's home for 12 and a half hours a day for over 20 years, but this would be their world. It's also the end of my four weeks on the Isle of Wight. I've met some great friends here and been treated very kindly. But the real spirit of the Isle of Wight remains elusive. That journey across the Solent may be a short one physically, but it's a very, very long distance psychologically. Real people here on the Isle of Wight. England begins at the mainland. The Isle of Wight flirts with the visitor, depends on the visitor, but they're politely very happy to see them go. So it only remains for me now to say goodbye to friends, turn in my last column and catch the last ferry home. OK, finished. Finished. Hello, Governor. It's done. Yeah, I've done the piece. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Hello? I've finished. That's it. Hello? Anyone there? Yep.